what kind of a mess is this? Look at this. We've got some jumpered wires to a breaker. And if you look over here, we've got some wires that have been taken off a breaker. And we have a breaker missing in this space right here. You see, this was the breaker that came out. And you can see right here where it's kind of corroded compared to there. You can see how that looks. And that's in good condition. And that's kind of corroded. Now, what happened in the air conditioner? the relay went out. They had to call the air conditioning guy in and last week he put in a new relay switch because the fan on the air conditioner was running after the compressor turned off and kept running and running. So a relay was not shutting that off. It was a $300 ouch. $300 which I thought was a little bit excessive for what they charged for that. But that didn't solve the problem. And I'm going to touch to the other and you can see that that's on. Okay now I can go here on this breaker which is on and I get the same thing. Now, what happened when I first diagnosed this, I would go on, on this breaker right here, if we can see it, okay? I would go like I did on the one phase to ground, and we can see in there that we got some corrosion, okay, on, on that post that stems out from the phase, from the bus in there. Okay, now it comes out, and now I take that one out. Very gently pry up. There we go. So that one is out. Now there's a reason I'm leaving the breakers on right now, and you're going to find out in a minute. You can see right down there, there's some corrosion. And that's where it stabs in. Look at the one underneath it. See how clean it is? And then look this one right here. See how... These two wires went to the air conditioning breaker that was bad originally. Now, we can't lower these, they're not long enough. So we're gonna to have to put this on a breaker and move it to the top space. Okay, now before we get into doing that, one thing we gotta do, let, let's clean everything off. So the main thing is, so we've got that second wire in. And another good thing about doing it like this when it's away, you can really give a good pull test to make sure that you've got your, uh, your wires landed solidly in your breaker. And have three over here. Now that doesn't matter which side they go on because they're both they're going to be splitting the load between both phases anyway. So that's what I'm going to have to do and that's what I meant about having to plan out the work and how I do this. We have a breaker missing and that's the where we move the other one away from. So what we have to do is you take one of these, this is called a uh, just a blank, gotta make sure it fits in properly and it just snaps right in like that and that keeps anything from going in and pushing in onto that panel and this is kind of a unique situation where a breaker goes bad this way so we hope you learned something from this video and uh, please check out the other videos on this website thank you for watching